First, before I break down day six, I define eternity as an unbroken realm that cannot be measured by any means. This realm has no surfaces. It's planeless, meaning there is nothing called the ground level or the top floor. It's open in every direction. The funny thing is there is nothing called direction there. It is clear and clean like the color white, but better, warmer. It's perfect. That is what eternity is. It's boundless and warm. It is the endless, forever present now. Second, I define the time-space continuum as a determined, single location in a specific time wherein all things do exist. Time measures the duration of all created things. This constructed arena has a distinct boundary and duration, and all things exist inside of this arena. This arena might look like this seven-sided form. The lines are the edges of the form. Our world and cosmos is likely inside a capsule like this seven-sided form. Our physical universe is inside a capsule called time, space, and matter. Coming to understand these proven realities helped me to unlock some of the more difficult scriptures to understand, like Genesis 1 and others. If the Bible was written by God's Spirit that is outside of this capsule called the space-time continuum, then these words on these pages must, it must agree with all of the laws of nature, every finding in nature, archaeology, the testable sciences like biology and the information sciences. For example, this slide represents eternity. That's right, it appears to us to be empty. That's because you can't see the edge of it ever. It's eternity, as I described earlier. Boundless, endless, no up, no down, only everywhere, always. This is the moment before the greatest occurrence in all of eternity, an occurrence that will bring to life a new and endless expression of He who is God and the depth of His love. This is where the awesome power and the tremendous glory of he who is God shall display his warmth and peace, all held in perfect love. Come and see, for he has determined to form this new and distinct realm, a realm that would be perfect as he is perfect, as eternity is perfect. This will be a visible realm, personal, measurable, and diverse, where he will be revealed and made known. So he who is God and is one, who is above all and in all, derived and engineered his greatest creation. Inside of it, he will form his perfect and distinct realm for the training and equipping of you, his glorious consort. As he who is God has determined in his thoughts towards us, it was as good as done. It is completed in his heart and full, and yet he had not made its location or the time of its completion which he purposed to create. He derived all that would come from such a grand creation. He counted the costs of all that he determined to say and to fashion and to perform in this new realm, and it, before he had spoken a word, and before his hand was lifted to complete this work, the one who is called love and God prepared all who were inside eternity for his greatest love, which would be on display for all to see and to hear and to touch. This is the very moment before the one true and living God made all that we see, all that we feel, and all that is called the real. So, he who was above all and in all opened up and said, Bereshit. And time, space, and matter appeared on the backdrop of eternity. <laughs>